Welcome back to my channel guys, Chef SK. Today I'll be making a Thai curry. So I just want to explain the difference between the Thai curries. A Thai green curry is mainly coriander and basil. And a Thai yellow curry is turmeric. And a Thai red curry is red chilies. So mine will, my one will be based on a Thai green curry. But I will be adding a couple of uh, red chilies in there just to give it a little bit of a kick. So check it out and hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing to do is to make the paste. So the traditional way is to use this epistle mortal, but this is the 21st century, so what we're gonna do is put everything in here and whiz it up. So what I wanna do, I wanna show you how to actually prep uh, the lemongrass. So I've got two lemongrass here. Really, really good um, thing to use. So what you do is just pop and peel it. What you wanna do is just Squeeze it, okay, so what this does, it just releases the flavour. And this is what you would do if you were going to use this whole in the curry, which you can do, you don't have to blitz this up, which a lot of people work, but I find quite nice. And what you want to do is just roughly pop it up, and you can actually smell the lemon coming out. So that's two lemon grass in there. Then I've got two green chilies, just gonna half them, these are quite chilly. Then uh, four garlic cloves, just hold it in there. Then I've got a piece of ginger about that size. And with the skin on, I've just washed it, just half it like that in there. And what I've got here is 30 grams of basil, 30 grams of coriander with the stalks on. What you want to do is just squeeze it in there and this is what's going to give it that green colour and then to this I just want to add 100 millilitres of water and then what you want to do is just blitz it up but if you do find when you're blitzing it up that it's quite thick just add a little bit of water as you're going along but you want it to blitz quite quickly you don't want to bruise these herbs okay so now that the paste is made it should look like that it's quite thick and what you can do is store it into an airtight container and it will last a week you can use this paste to marinate some chicken uh, beef it goes very well with pork so that's that and then for this recipe, what I will be using is one teaspoon of uh, ground coriander, one teaspoon of ground cumin, three dried cafe lime leaves, which I found in superstores quite popular now, two tablespoons of ground uh, ginger and garlic, one tin of coconut milk, and then I've got four chicken thighs, which I've diced quite thick in Thai cooking, it is mainly chicken thighs that they use. I've got two tablespoons of soya sauce, the juice of one lime, and one tablespoon of fish sauce. Uh, pak choy, just chopped quite roughly, sliced uh, mushrooms, and then a bunch of spring onions, just sliced like that. You can use other vegetables, what you like, but the, this is my little choice that I like. Bamboo shoots go quite well with this, with some chunky diced up peppers, which go brilliant. So let's start cooking. Okay, so I have my wok nice and hot with about three tablespoons of uh, rapeseed oil in there. So I'm gonna go in there with my spring onions, fry them off. Once these are a bit soft, what you're gonna do is add three tablespoons of your paste. And just cook that off slightly. Then you wanna go in with the rest of your spices. Incorporate that nicely. Mm -hmm. 
And then you just want to go in with your chicken. Just mix that chicken in. And what you want to do is just seal that chicken. Make sure you get some nice colour on it. And now we want to go in with our coconut milk. And just flip that milk. So now that the coconut milk has melted, I'm going to go in with my veg for the pak choy and the mushrooms. And then at this time, I want to go in with one teaspoon of salt. And just give that a really good mix. And what you want to do is let this cook between eight to 10 minutes on a, a medium heat at this time now, because you're just gonna let it slowly just cook, but you still want the veg to still be a bit crunchy. Okay, so this has had 10 minutes now cooking away slowly. And everything's cooked. The veg still has a bit of a crunch to it. And that is how you make my Thai green curry. It goes very well with some rice or even if you want to mix it up, uh, make some noodles and serve it with some noodles. So I hope you enjoy, hope you try it out.